this was how the news of Kim Jong Il's death was announced to the people of North Korea. Clearly, the announcer moved emotional in tears, announcing the news, which our correspondent Lucy Williamson said will shed sent shock waves across North Korea and to the people of the country. We can speak to uh, Lucy now, and Lucy, this news now digesting. Has there been any reaction that you've heard of coming from either South Korea or North Korea? Now, at the moment, I think people are just absorbing the news that we've heard from the North Korean state television there. As you saw, a very somber mood from the newsreader. We're hearing uh, that she has uh, stipulated that Kim Jong-il died of fatigue while on a train. Uh, that's, what, that's what she's said. But uh, as you say, he was a very powerful figure in North Korea. There was a real personality cult almost built up around him. And so his death will leave a very big hole, which his son and presumed successor has only been going to film really for the past year or so and his son himself is just 30. that's right we believe he's not yet 30 he may be 28 or 29 the state media in north korea have been doing a really tough job recently trying to bolster his credentials as a future leader saying that he excels himself in the military that he has all the necessary capabilities and skills needed to run north korea to carry on that uh, sort of stable uh, stable top to the country but as i say he is a very new face to most people he has only been presented as the successor for about a year and the real question now is who is actually is in charge of so North Korea? Stupid. whether it is uh, kim jong-il and the people, Why are more people intelligent? Going to right succeed him or whether indeed there are other people